Happy Tuesday and welcome to another edition of 4 AM TV. When the Seattle Convention and Visitors Bureau decided to honor someone for their first Lifetime Achievement Award, the choice was pretty easy. They chose a man responsible for changing the skyline of the city of Seattle. His name? Frank Finneran. For decades, Frank Finneran has been instrumental in developing and managing iconic tourism landmarks in downtown Seattle. Initially making his mark in Seattle as general manager at the Olympic and Weston Hotels after previous positions at the Plaza in New York and the St. Francis in San Francisco. He later guided development of the Sheridan Seattle and the Seattle Waterfront Marriott. Frank's tireless efforts over two decades as a member of the Washington State Convention Center Board has seen the WSCC through its initial construction and three subsequent expansions of the acclaimed meeting facility. Frank has literally helped change the skyline of Seattle. In fact, he's also served as Chief Operating Officer of the Space Needle. Frank sees a need and he goes after trying to find a solution for it. He said, you gotta just keep going, keep doing what you're doing and have confidence in the people above you that if there's something you're not doing what you should be doing, well, I'll tell you, they'll tell you. He is intense, um, he, he, thinks, he thinks things through. You know, he, he puts a good strategy together and I think that's what people see in his intensity because he's a, he's, a, he's a very thoughtful person. We have some very good partners that are still our partners in uh, Monterey, but they tell the story that when Frank was first brought on board to come down and advise them on the hotel project uh, that they owned, uh, he looked at it for a while, did some studies, and eventually came back to them and concluded that they needed to tear down the building and build a new one. And half of the guys walked out of the room on him at the time. They eventually agreed to do it and they're very happy today. Growing up in Florida, Frank started off early in the hospitality world, doing some unusual tricks. He really got his start in the hotel business as a clown diver. He was a, what you'd call a cabana boy servant at a hotel in Florida on the beach. And at X seven o'clock or eight o'clock at night, the the, the Cabana guys would do a clown diving show and they would jump off the diving boards and land on other diving boards and the roof and into the trees and on a number of occasions I think that him his part was running across the roof and diving into the pool off there and he I think at least one occasion fell through the roof into the snack bar during the show and he also pioneered one of the greatest tricks of all times off a diving board he would dive off the diving board with a cigarette in his mouth and at the apex of his dive pull the cigarette into his mouth and go into the water and come back out and flip the cigarette back out and continue smoking it. I think that if you look around Seattle and you look at any number of buildings you would see his fingerprint on both the operation and or the physical structure of the building from uh, the Pacific Plaza Hotel to the Olympic Hotel, to the Westin, which used to be the Washington Plaza, to the Space Needle, to the Sheraton, to the Marriott, all have his uh, fingers in them in one way, shape, or form. And uh, I think I'm entitled and probably also honored to say that, you know, he's a pretty tough act to follow. And for all those that know Frank Finneran and the work he's done and continues to do, they agree, the first annual Tourism Leadership Award going to Frank Finneran is well deserved. Well, like I say, Frank is, is, is nobody deserves it more. Um, he's been a great friend and, and leader in our industry. Um, and it, to be the, the first one that awarded this, there couldn't be a more appropriate person for it. The one thing I'd like to tell Frank is that he's been a great friend, a great partner, uh, a great supporter, and uh, he is, he's, he and Susan both have uh, made our lives in uh, Seattle much richer and much more welcoming. And, and uh, Frank has just been uh, one of the special people that uh, we've always admired a great deal. Thanks for a great ride. It, it's, been, it's been great working with Frank. Uh, every day it's been a pleasure. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Yes, he has been an incredible leader, a partner, and friend, most importantly, uh, that uh, has just a very special place in my, in my life. It was pretty emotional to watch as we played that video at the convention center in front of Frank and thousands of people who honored him. Congratulations, Frank. Well, coming up next week, we're going to highlight our own backyard, the city of Bellevue, and showcase the Bellevue Downtown Association. That's next week on 4AM TV.